Okay, so I'm uh, Demi Grace and I'm the producer for 2K Games on Mafia 2. How, how we are looking at uh, that uh, some Czech guys making games about uh, you know American history and, and this stuff? It's, uh, you, uh, well, and talking to you, you know the guys at 2K Games. Yeah. They're super talented guys, and basically uh, all we're trying to do at 2K Games is just support them to help them make this game the best possible. Now, um, the guys at 2K Chip, the artists and everything like that, they do a massive amount of research into everything they do. And then wherever we can support them, we will help them, you know. We've got, obviously we've got specialists and actors, specialists who know about brands, 50s brands. Uh, through 2K Games we can get access to the, the music licensing that's needed to make this thing really come alive. You know, as well as that, um, the VO and the, the, the polishing of the writing, you know, the original script obviously written by Dan Barber in Czech, but then it's translated. And uh, to give it that really authentic feel, it's actually, uh, the dialogue's tweaked and rewritten uh, to give it that sort of Sopranos, that Donnie Brasco sort of feel that you really need to make this script come alive. And then the VO direction, of course, is done in Hollywood here in LA. And um, our director of production, uh, Jack, is very passionate about the game, you know, very passionate. And he's, he's been actually recording for like six to eight months now. You know, and I think you can see for yourself the quality that's really coming through. And we really hope we've helped to bring Mafia one from where it was seven years ago obviously to the quality it is now and, and the quality that games expect we really think it's actually it's far above actually what a lot of other games are doing right now it's much closer to what, what you'd expect in a film and i think that's there for all to see uh, so uh, is this some improvements in in cooperation between you know uh, 2k headquarters and uh, between 2k check after the purchase of illusions of Talks and became 2k check is, yeah. is there any change yeah so it? absolutely absolutely it's it's, it's, it's like Hey, it's like, a, to, to liken it to a Mafia thing, it's like once you become part of the family, you get all the perks of being in the family, you know? So, yeah, we have a very close working relationship. I myself spend uh, two weeks out of a month or one week out of a month over there in Bruno, working very, very closely with the guys. You know, it's, um, and like I said, we, we, we offer the, our full publishing support behind this title. It's a huge title for us here at 2K Games. And we're, we're really, really passionate about the game. I myself was a QA tester on the original game, so I, I've seen where the game's come from, you know, and where it's going to. And re we're really, really excited to support those guys with anything they need, you know, to get this game done. Um, yeah, so in any way possible, you know, they're, they're talented guys. All they need is to be given the right support and the, the time to sort of finish this game off. And, and, and we think we're, well, for English phrase, cooking with gas. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh Czech readers, they they know I think uh, everything about Mafia 2, what uh, which, uh, which was uh, revealed and, and so on. Uh, is there something uh, that you want to uh, them to know, but uh, you know it's some kind of little feature that uh, journalists didn't didn't care or something? So. No, so what would Czech readers know? So the guys, uh, there's some little, um, obviously it's a sequel, Mafia 2 is a sequel to Mafia 1. Everyone knows that everyone pretty much died in Mafia 1. Um, and while the game is in the same America as um, Lost Heaven, it's a whole new city, there are some subtle hints towards, uh, there's some subtle nods towards the first game, you know. Especially the hardcore fans are really going to find these things. And that's one of the really cool things I'm excited about. I'm excited that, as a fan of the game to see these things. As well as that, I suppose we could say, um, I'm trying to think of something now off the top of my head. I thought of something just then, but I, it's just gone, it's just left my brain. Oh no, 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 another thing that we are working hard with um, the distributor in Czech Republic is we're, we're working hard to bring them a really, really high quality Czech localized version, fully localized, both audio and, and video. I don't think things are confirmed yet, but we're, we're, we're far along in talks to sort of bring that to two gamers on the PC, you know, at the same time as we launch all these other things. And that's that's very important to you guys. I so, so you are going to localize to all versions of the game? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Like I said, the thing, things that we're still in talks at the moment, but we're very, very keen to do what we can to bring it to bring it to gamers in the Czech Republic in the best way possible. Uh, can you tell me something about uh, soundtrack? Because um, I, I think it's it's more your uh, your work than. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So we have a uh, we have um, 
a soundtrack in the game. I talk about the radio system in general. Obviously, the, um, there's a big orchestral score for the game, and certain moments in the game uh, work better with orchestral than maybe some rock and roll track from the 50s. And the, and the orchestral stuff is it's composed internally by uh, an internal composer, and it's actually going to be recorded eventually by the Czech Philharmonic um, in Prague. And then also we have a so big... Like, is the same guy uh, that... Uh, no, actually. Um, he, the guy who did Mafia 1, he actually went on to do TV and film and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So he um, he left um, Illusions shortly after, but we've got a very, very ta talented guy called Matos. Uh, and uh, he's super talented and uh, he, he's doing all he can. You've heard it today for yourself, how great that mm -hmm. sounds. So as well as that, we have a big radio system in the game, a dynamic radio system that changes as, depending on what you're doing around, um, when you're driving around the streets, if you get into a police chase or you get into any of these different encounters that the radio will sort of ramp up in intensity, you know, a new song will start. And the, the licensed tracks that you'd expect to hear from the era, we can't really talk about actual songs at this time because um, the licensing is still to be confirmed, but it's got all the sort of like big tunes that you'd expect from this era. As well as that, they're going to be really authentic sort of radio ads and uh, news broadcasts mm. sort of reflecting what the player is doing in the world, you know. I think these things, all these things come together to really create an atmosphere in the same way as the audio did in Bioshock, you know. Mafia 2, it, the radio is something that we're really, really keen to sort of explore and just add to the narrative. This radio uh, stuff is also coming from some historical uh, sources and... Uh, yeah, well the, the news reports and stuff, are, we're actually writing ourselves, the writer is actually writing them so they fit with the story and stuff like that and the ads and stuff that we're, 2K Check are creating their own brands and things like that that exist in the world. The music itself, though, they are they're from the right era, yeah? you know, when you're in the 40s section of the game, you're going to hear 40s music. When you're in the 50s section of the game, you're going to hear 50s music. So it's nice, it's that it brings that authentic flavour. At, uh, uh, at this point of development, Mafia 2, uh, what is the biggest challenge right now to, to finish the game? So, if the biggest challenge right now is to finish the game, which is like, <laughs> basically is... We're, we're full of ideas, we've got so much stuff we want to do and it's trying to like mm -hmm. get it um, get it into gamers' hands. That's what we really want to do, you know. The game's been in development for a fair while and we, we really want, we're really ready to bring it to gamers now. And It's just, we want to have that great level of polish that 2K games and 2K check games are known for, you know. It's, um, so it's just, it's just really like, like, I know it's a bit of a joke to say, but it is, it's the finishing part, you know. That's the biggest challenge left ahead. Something we're very capable of doing. Uh, but that is the biggest challenge yet to do.